scientists reveal a discovery that will shock all of us. For centuries, people have assumed that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. However, recently scientists have manipulated and broken the speed of light for the first time. This breakthrough has unsurprisingly sparked a flurry of interest and speculation about how and why this was accomplished. If you're a fan of Coldplay, you may be familiar with their song entitled Speed of Sound. Sound travels really fast, but something else travels even faster – light. In this video, we will bring you how scientists just manipulated and broke the speed of light for the first time in history along with other amazing discoveries in the universe. Before we reveal this amazing discovery, be sure to like this video and click on that subscribe button so we can keep you updated. Light traverses 299,772,458 meters per second. A genuinely mind-boggling speed, it is so rapid that many people do not even aware that light travels. Think of the last time you switch on a light bulb in a dark room, light filled out the room immediately. However, when the sun produces light, it takes more than 8 minutes to reach the Earth. But that is because the sun is about 93 million miles away. The speed of light is an essential component of physics. But how did that come to be the first genius to realize that light as a speed, there was an astronomer named Oroma in the late 1600s. He was studying what appeared to be strange motions of the moon Io around Jupiter. He noticed that every once in a while, the massive planet would block its little moon from a view from the Earth, which caused an eclipse. However, the timing between eclipses varied over the course of the year after some years of observations. When Io was eclipsed, the Earth was in particular position in its own orbit around the Sun. But a few days later, the Earth would be in slightly different position. Roma reasoned that if the Earth was further away than the last time an eclipse was observed, observers would have to wait a little bit longer to see the next one, because it takes much longer for the light to reach them. Roma concluded that only suitable explanation for the variations in timing of eclipses of Io was if light had a finite speed, though he lacked the instrument necessary to accurately determine the speed of light. Nonetheless, scientists after him continued to take measurements until the mid-19th century, when a physicist named James Clark Maxwell made an important accidental discovery about the speed of light. When scientist James Clerk Maxwell was studying the relationship between electric and magnetic fields, he came to startling realization that an alteration in electric field could result in an alteration in magnetic field. It showed clearly that light was made of electromagnetic waves, which determines the speed. However, Another genius would arrive that would turn things upside down, and that was Albert Einstein. With his theory of relativity, the scientists showed that there was a single constant or a certain speed that could tell us how much space was equivalent to how much time and vice versa. And thanks to how fast the university was, we were able to figure out how much space was equivalent to how much time and vice versa. We can see the light coming from the star that is nearest to us. The light from Alpha Centauri after it has traveled 4.35 years light from the stars has been traveling billions of years before it reaches us now. If there is a certain speed at which light travels, can anything ever travel faster? According to Einstein's theory, the speed of light is a kind of ultimate universal speed limit. This means that objects possessing mass are unable to reach the speed of light, because they would need infinite energy to do so. Therefore, your car or aircraft may never travel a distance equal to the distance traveled by light. 
Researchers have been able to speed up or slow down light pulses for some time using things like refractive crystals. However, a group of physicists has demonstrated that waves made up of groove of photons could travel more quickly than light, optical fibers, and cold atomic gases. But what the scientists from the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California and the University of Rochester in New York have done is successfully adjust the speed of light waves within plasma. The fine-tuned waves range from about one-tenth of the usual vacuum speed of light to more than 30% faster. How did the scientists accomplish this feat? It boils down to electromagnetism. These low frequencies are maintained at a constant photon speed because to this force, which is the interplay of electrical magnetic fields, photon pulses collide with one another in ways that form periodic waves. After that comes the grip of velocity, which can either move or slowly or more swiftly depending on the electromagnetic properties of its surroundings. These researches used a laser to remove electrons from a stream of hydrogen and helium ions. As a result, they were able to slow down or streamline the delivery of light pulses, which resulted in any change in group velocity of light pulses sent through them and caused characteristics of pulls to change shape. Even if the collective dance look at the speed of light, the individual light waves continued to move at their normal speed because of refraction caused by the plasma fields and the polarized light produced by the primary laser. The experiment not only adds to our understanding of physics behind plasmas, but it also places new constraints on the positions of models that are presently in use. These restrictions are based on theoretical points of view. This achievement does not mean that we are building spacecraft that can attain the speed of light. Yet, however, this experiment can help get humanity closer to the kind of future we dream of. Speaking of light traveling, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured images of light traveling from one part of the universe to another. It wasn't until the last few decades that we realized planets could orbit stars and our own solar system is not nearly as unique as we once thought. Exoplanets are notoriously difficult to observe or visualize. These far-off planets were discovered relatively recently. Over 5,000 exoplanets have been found by scientists, the majority of which were discovered indirectly because they orbit so closely to their host stars that it has been possible to see them directly with the technology that is available. Instead, astronomers watch out for their hosts. Stars doing something unexpected and infer from that the presence of exoplanets. All of these exoplanets, only a handful have been seen directly. And the most popular one discovered directly in HR8799, which is 4 because of its size and temperature. The planet is relatively bright in comparison to the other planets. However, even at a great distance from its parent star, the light from HIP 65426 would completely overpower that from HIP 65426b. However, the JWST circumvents the seashell. When you put your hand in front from the headlights of a car to check if your friend has climbed out, you use your hand to block the light from the bright headlights. In the same way, the coronagraphs are instruments that the JWST has helped the telescope block the light from a bright star so that it can look for fainter objects beside it. JWST took a series of images of HIP 65426b EGM image was taken at different wavelengths of infrared light in each image. The planet can be clearly seen, it is a single bright pixel offset from the location of its obscured stellar host. Of course, the images are not the high-resolution images found in fiction movies. 
but they show that the planet was easily detected standing out against the dark background of space. The researchers who led the observations admitted that the planet was easily detected standing out against the dark background of images painted a picture of an orderly alien world different from anything else in the solar system, apart from the yielding images of an exoplanet. This helps evade proof of what JWST is capable when it comes to exoplanets, because the cloud tops are close to 1,400 degrees Celsius. They also discovered that it was slightly not as big as thought, with a diameter about 92% that of Jupiter. These images paint a picture of an utterly alien world different from anything in it. It suggests that the space telescope will be able to obtain direct observations of planets that are smaller than what was previously expected. Instead of only being able to see planets with a mass greater than Jupiter, it should be able to see planets with masses comparable to or even smaller than Saturn. The precision with which the James Webb Space Telescope made this measurement shows that we'll be able to learn far more about their atmospheres than expected. In fact, repeating observations with a telescope could reveal details of how this atmosphere vary within time. Scientists are excited because of JWST being able to see smaller and fainter planets than expected means the number of possible targets available for astronomers to study with greatly increase. I would love to hear your thoughts on the marvels of all reality included within the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until the next one.